Hey friends, Kim here, and I am so excited to share with you an amazing new feature from Canva. They've just rolled out some incredible AI avatars that can turn your text into video with lifelike visuals and vocals. This is going to be a total game changer for content creation. Okay, could you tell that that was my custom avatar? Well, don't go back and watch it because the goodies are going to be in front of you. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a full tutorial on how to use Canva's text to video AI avatars to easily create videos for YouTube or social media or honestly anywhere you need them. And I'm going to break it down for you. You have three choices when it comes to your avatar presenter. One, the out of the box presenter is what I call it. So it's, it's basically going in and picking a pre-made presenter. Uh, an avatar uh, that could be the star of your video. No customization is going to be needed. You just type in a script, a aka your text, and press play. So it's perfect for, you know, quick explainers and tutorials, or if you don't want to be the face of your brand. The second option is a custom look with an AI voice. You might want your avatar to look like you, but you might not want to spend the time to record a voice clip. So you would upload your glam headshot and then apply uh, one of the voices uh, that is embedded inside of Canva uh, so that you can have a matchy matchy. You have a complete package and it is a, obviously a huge time saver. So it's kind of an in-between solution to where you uh, can be the, the face, but the voice uh, is generated. And then if you hang around uh, to the end, the real magic is going to be revealed where I'm going to share how you fully customize an avatar. You can level up uh, to that personalized avatar that looks and sounds just like you by using your own headshots, just a photo, and a voice recording. So think about your very own like AI twin. It's going to be great for building your personal brand and or your uh, videos that are going to be specific to your face and your voice. So using Canva's avatars can save you so much time compared to recording videos yourself and the end results looks and sounds incredibly professional, depending on which of the three avatar choices you choose. But whether you're looking to scale up your video content or just want an easy way to get your message out there with a personalized touch, then I think this feature um, is going to be super powerful for you. So stick around, grab a snack, and let's get started creating some awesome AI power videos together. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my latest tips and tutorials. So let's jump in. Okay, the next piece of this is we're going to open up Canva in just a second, and I'm going to show you how the pieces and parts actually play together so that you can decide which of the three presenters is going to work best for you. So the way this works is Canva has a lot of app integrations inside of their platform, and this is one of them. So the name of the app integration is called D-I-D-A-I. So for purposes of just keep it in simple, I'm going to call it DID, okay? So the DID app uh, is available inside of Canva. And like I say, it has the three options, three different type of scenarios that you can run with so that you can create content quickly. If you don't already have a Canva account, you need one. Uh, most people already have one, but if you don't, I would recommend you go to kimgurs.com forward slash Canva. You can get, snap up an account really quickly. You obviously need to log in. I'm already logged in, so I'm gonna share my screen with you and I'm gonna show you how we do this. Okay, once you are logged into your Canva account, the next thing you need to know is how to get into the app or find the app within the Canva platform. The easiest way to do that is to go over to the left-hand sidebar where the word apps is, click on that. It'll open up all the apps that are currently integrated into the Canva platform. Don't get sidetracked by all the shiny objects here. You're going to find a lot of things in here that you didn't even know Canva did. But for purposes of just really staying on track with this demo, the DID AI presenters is currently featured right here in the trending section. But let's assume that you're watching this later and you don't see it there. Then the best way to find it would just be starting to type in the name of the app and you'll see that it shows up right here. So either way will work. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on it, open it up. And as you can see, it gives you a couple of options. You can use in an existing design or use uh, in a new design. For purposes of the demo, we're just going to go with using a new design. 
and I'm just going to pick a design a, a size. You can choose whatever design size you want. Um, but just again, just to choose one and get you started, I'm going to use the Instagram size, which is just a standard square. Uh, now, when you first log in, you are going to probably want to go all the way down to the bottom and set up your DID AI Presenters account. You have to connect it to Canva first. It'll walk you through. I'm already signed in, so mine is already connected. But the first time you do this, you're going to want to do that. Otherwise, it won't work for you. I'm pretty sure you get 10 credits for free. I did pay for some credits and have been testing it out. You may want to pay for some. They're not that expensive. There is a pricing guide down here if you if you want to see what that looks like. So let's start with the first avatar, which is what I call the out of the box avatar. And when you uh, click on see more here, you'll see that there is a lot of pre-designed um, avatars here. I've got some of mine already in here. So it basically starts with this dude here <laughs> and it goes all the way down to this gal. So you can see that there is a diverse group, a, gr a diverse selection here. If you want to just use out one of the out of the box avatars, uh, I think you can find someone that would match what you're trying to project. For, again, for purposes of just doing a quick demo, I'm going to select one. Now, when you select, you're like, nothing happens. Don't panic because you have to just go through all the pieces before it will actually generate your avatar. So you select whichever one you want. That's the first step. The next is just putting your text in here. You can type it in or you can cut and paste something if you have something somewhere else that you want, like a, a script that you've already created. And there is an 8,000 word limit here. That's a pretty substantial amount. I'm just going to paste something in and we'll see where this takes us. The choose language is a, a very robust feature. It's got all kinds of different languages in here. Even within the English language, you'll see that there is all kinds of our Irish English, Indian English. Obviously there's a lot of people in different countries that speak uh, the language or speak English. This is a really robust feature. So you can create avatars in a lot of different languages. The voice is a prefabricated, this is again, out of the box kind of thing. You can choose different voices, Jenny, Guy, area, all, all different kinds of voices here. Again, like I'm going to choose Jenny. And then the style of voice, this is like the tone of the voice that you, how do you want your person to sound? Are they an assistant? Are they, was it a chat bot, a customer service, angry, cheerful? What do you want this to look like or sound like more specifically? I'm going to go with friendly just to show you what this would look like. You can also preview the speech. If you're not quite sure that was a good choice, you can preview the speech. There you go. So now you can hear the demo. You can get a, a demo before you hit the presenter, generate presenter, because this costs you. It costs you a credit every time you do this. So you're going to want to at least test out the voice. Now, the fascinating part about this is you can only test the voice. You can't see what it's going to look like before you create your presenter. Okay. The thing though that you can tune into is what the voice is going to sound like. And that means you could change this out. If I didn't like the friendly, for example, I might want it to be cheerful. Anyway, let's do it. Let's generate it and see what it's going to look like. And it'll take just a second for this to generate and pop on the screen here. Once that's done, it will literally fill in over here and there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and I can resize her to whatever size I want. I can take the background off of this if I wanted to. So if I wanted to remove the background, if I wanted to put some filters on it so it looks different, you, you can use a lot of the other features that Canva has to change out the avatar look once you have it created. Okay, so see, that's not so bad, right? That is definitely, a again, an out-of-the-box solution. Okay, the next thing I want to share with you is the hybrid model, which is the combination of a photo of you or anyone for that matter, and, and use a voice that's within the platform. So this is taking an image of you again and matching it with a voice within the platform so that you don't have to pre-record something. You can just use straight up text to voice, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new... Uh, page right here. I'm going to go up to and choose one of, let's just choose, we'll choose this one. All right. I'm going to do the same text. Um, I'm going to change the voice this time just so we can check some, let's do Elizabeth 
Uh, we'll do another, let's just choose another English version. Let's see. Point is you can change up. Maybe I want to choose the voice. Let's go. Again, these are options. We can choose different things. So I'm going to go back. I'll do uh, Australia. And oh, it chose a voice for me. This is interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and generate and see what this looks like. Again, we've chose a physical photo of me this time around. You could do any photo. I've seen some clever things that people done. Uh, they've done some uh, spinoffs on George Washington. They've made fun things, I guess is the best way of saying it. So I can resize this to fill in the space. I can, let's see, do that. Now, uh, keep in mind, this actual photo uh, it has been AI generated uh, as well. So it's just one that I, I created. Okay, so now we've done the, the one that is total out of the box from within the platform. We've done a combination or a hybrid model, which is a photo of, of whomever, in this case, a gener a, a guy that's of me with a voiceover. And then the third option is going to be, I'm going to use my voice. I'm sorry. I'm going to use my photo. I'm going to use my voice, which means I have to go to upload it. I have to find it. I have, I've got to have pre-recorded it and I have to find it on my computer. So I'm going to do that real quick. I've already pre-recorded it and I'm going to generate the presenter and it'll take just a sec for that to happen. All right. So now here's this one. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Now, keep in mind that every time you do this, you'll get better at whatever this is going to look like, right? I feel like I've done some that are slightly better um, than this one. And now you've got to see all three out of the box avatar. You've got to see one where you take a physical photo and it turns into an avatar. And then last but not least, it's a combination. I think this is the most, what do you call it? Realistic, if you will. One quick tip that I wanted to share with you, and I haven't tested this to see the difference, but I wanted to wind up with this. When I signed up for the DID AI presenters account initially, it gave the recommendation that you use photos that are not smiling. But if you notice, all of their avatars are smiling. Many of them are. So not all of them, but many of them are. One thing that I want to test is to go back and um, have some smiling images and see if it makes any difference. As you can probably see, the teeth don't look exactly right uh, when it comes to this avatar. So let's take a peek at that real quick. So see the see like the teeth don't just look exactly right. But now understanding that this is only going to evolve, I think this is going to be a fascinating uh, field to pay attention to and potentially leverage in our businesses. So hopefully you've gotten some value from this. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome sauce AI training coming your way soon.